What's up YouTube? I'm Melanie Morrison, personal trainer and nutritionist, and today we're going to be talking about blood sugar. And I know what you're thinking, I'm not 80 years old, I don't take medication, why do I care about blood sugar? Well, if you're someone who wants to lose weight, if you're someone who feels that 2 p.m. crash where you graze food throughout the day, or if you skip meals, or if you're someone who doesn't want diabetes or hypoglycemia, or PCOD, or if you're someone who has thyroid issues, or if you're someone who has adrenal issues, or a hormonal imbalance, then blood sugar matters to you. So I think that's pretty much everyone. So let's get right into it. What is blood sugar? Blood sugar is exactly like what it sounds, blood sugar in the body, or glucose. And we get our sources of glucose from food. And when glucose is released into the body, then the pancreas releases insulin. And this happens naturally throughout the day as we eat and your glucose and your insulin will always match. So when it comes to weight loss and weight management, blood sugar is important for one simple reason. Insulin promotes fat storage, and you can't burn fat and store fat at the same time. The two systems just can't operate simultaneously. And that's why something as simple as leveling out your blood sugar can really affect your weight loss and weight management. It really can depict how quickly you lose weight, how consistently you lose weight, or just maintaining the weight that you want. The next one we'll get into is adrenal glands and stress. So your adrenal glands are your coping mechanism for stress. And a common sign of adrenal fatigue is actually low blood sugar. Another common sign is feeling that crash at 2 p.m. every single day, or waking up between the hours and two and four in the morning for no real reason. You're just kind of laying there awake every night. And so when it comes to stress, stress can actually cause the blood sugar imbalance itself. Because when we're stressed, we release cortisol, and when we release cortisol, that actually stimulates the production of glucose. And as remember, when we release glucose, we're gonna release insulin. And it's so common to have adrenal fatigue and feel that constant stress. So that's why it's so important to manage your blood sugar because you're really gonna help support your adrenals, which will help how you cope with your stress. So when it comes to hormones, blood sugar plays a big factor because insulin is a hormone. So when our glucose goes up, we're gonna produce more insulin and that's a chemical messenger that's gonna send a message to other hormones. So estrogen's gonna be like, oh, oh, we're making more? Okay, I'll make some more. And cortisol is gonna be like, oh, more, okay. So people with thyroid issues or women with PCOS, leveling out your blood sugar can have such a big impact on treating the condition. And all women with PCOS have a blood sugar imbalance. So it might be a good place to start. So those are probably the less common ones talked about when associated with blood sugar. And the more obvious ones are obviously diabetes or cardiovascular diseases. And if you're pre-diabetic, something as simple as leveling your blood sugar can easily reverse all symptoms. And if you're someone on medication and have diabetes, guaranteed just leveling your blood sugar can have a massive impact whether you're on medication or not. So let's get to the goods and let's talk about how we can actually level out our blood sugar. So the first thing is I'll give an example of what your blood sugar should look like throughout the day. So your blood sugar should always be between eight and four. And when you start out in the morning, it should actually be just below the midline. And as you have your breakfast, or right after you have your breakfast, it's slowly gonna slope up and then dip back down around lunchtime and then dip right back up after lunchtime and then dinner dip back down and then after dinner, a little bit back up. So ways we can level out our blood sugar is by eating foods that are on the glycemic load index. So foods that are lower in sugar content, foods that are less processed. Those are huge for making a big impact on whether we spike our insulin through each meal or whether we kind of keep it pretty level. So another tool you can use is intermittent fasting. And typically with intermittent fasting, you'll eat between certain hours, let's say 10 a.m. and 6 a.m. and you'll have three well-balanced meals in there. So you're not really snacking in between because again, each time that you eat, that's gonna spike your blood sugar. So sticking to just those three meals and giving yourself plenty of rest in between your dinner and your breakfast. So the last one we'll get into is meal planning. And meal planning is so important for those who work out, who have busy lives, who have kids. It really helps stabilize your blood sugar because you know exactly what your meals are gonna be and you're less likely to snack in between meals. And keeping in mind, every time that you are snacking, that blood sugar does go up. So it really helps to navigate away from those situations because you have the food ready for you. So there you have it, blood sugar is so important for your health. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Like and subscribe if you want more content. And again, my name is Melanie Morrison.